Hi, this is Dr. Emily Park with your next Functional Health Minute. I am continuing my testing series, and so I'd like to next go over what a mycotoxin test looks like. And so mycotoxin is a test for mold metabolites. So it's to test to see if you have actual metabolites of mold toxins in your body. And it is um, collected by a urine sample um, by the company Great Plains, that's who I like to use. And um, it gives you a report um, for six different categories. And so there are different um, metabolites for each different type of mold. Um, in this example, uh, this person is definitely exposed to the mold aspergillus because they have very high levels of ochratoxin A and they have moderate levels of gliotoxin. And um, so for example, aspergillus, the mold aspergillus, it can, um, exposure can come from water damaged buildings, but it can also come from certain foods. Um, especially the, the ochratoxin A. Um, there's there's uh, foods like grains, for example, um, some of the nuts and seeds, um, especially peanut butter um, is, is you know, known for um, having ochratoxin A contamination. Anything stored in a silo, like corn, for example, um, could you know can also have um, some aspergillus growth fairly easily. Um, but again, water damaged buildings or you know can be also be coming from food molds as well. Um, then the next category down is to look for exposures to um, the penicillin uh, uh, species of mold. And that um, can also be coming from, sometimes can be coming from food, but also can be coming from water damaged buildings. Um, the next one is for something called stachybotrys. Stachybotrys is known as the toxic black mold. Um, and if there's exposure to that, you definitely want to figure out where it's coming from. Um, and it, it re that one really is only coming from water damaged buildings. Um, so, so you really want to figure out where your exposure is, whether it's at, in your home or your office or school or your gym or wherever it is that you, you know, spend a fair amount of time. Um, that um, is likely to have mold. Now, you can also, besides testing for mold metabolites in your body, um, you can also test your environment. So there is a completely separate company that um, you can order a testing kit online from them, from mycometrics.com. Um, and you can get something called an ERMI score, E-R-M-I, ERMI score. And that will tell you how moldy you know, the area is you tested relative to all the rest of the homes in the United States. And so that'll give you an idea of, you know, where your mold exposure might be coming from. Is it, you know, like I was saying, is it home? Is it work? Is it school? Where, where is the toxin exposure coming from? Now, being exposed to, you know, these mycotoxins, I keep saying toxin, right? So they are toxic. Um, a lot of the mycotoxins are toxic to the immune system and to the central and peripheral nervous system. So this is where, you know, you're going to have things like, you know, low, you know, potentially low white blood cells or a suppressed immune system tend to get sick all the time. Um, a lot of times mold expo exposed people will um, have allergies that never seem to go away. Um, now there are people that have allergies that are not mold exposed, plenty of people out there, right? But I'm just saying it's, if it's a newer development or I came on suddenly, um, you might think of mold exposure. Um, and so, um, but the, and the, the peripheral and central nervous system symptoms can be quite significant as well. So you can, you can get things as um, generic as fatigue and muscle weaknesses and, you know, sensations like tingling and numbness and whatnot, but you know you can also get kind of you know spasms and tremors and you know some other more significant neurological symptoms as well. Um, and so you definitely want to decrease your exposure to mold. Um, and when we do have someone that's mold exposed, um, you know, or exposed to any environmental toxin, of course there's a detoxification protocol and process that we go through once you've gotten you know re have removed the exposure, right? And so I would not put someone through a full blown mold detoxification protocol until they're you know definitely not mold exposed anymore so it doesn't mean we do nothing in between now and the time that they get it taken care of but it does mean that you know we're going to have more work to do after the exposure is cleaned up um, so this is dr emily park with your functional health minute for today